This is Night Jewel, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Night Jewel. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You are now on this 2016 summer tour. Let me know, how has it been going? Oh, it's been awesome. Um, New York last night was just super great. It was a very communal like vibe. Everybody was just super loving, and it was really nice. Yeah. I notice how you like to use your fair share of emojis on all of your socials. Um, yeah, I like the pizza emoji lately, actually. It's just been my, like, thing to say that someone's, like, a cutie pie. I just put, like, a little QT and then a piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Which emojis would you use to describe this tour so far? Um, well, there is the liquid cool emoji combination, the little droplet, and then the cool button, which is, you know, that's the name of the record. Yes. So I feel like that's a big part of it. I also feel like the champagne bottle is a good one because we use that in the video for Boohoo. It's champagne into a big gulp. So that's very like classic Nigel at this moment. And then probably just like some gems and some stars to Spice signify Night Jewel, you know? That's it. I just want to bring things back to Liquid Cool. What has been the coolest hey. thing to happen since you have unleashed this labor of love? Um, you know, lots of great things have happened as far as like just connecting with fans more on this record. I felt like on the last record, because I was more like in the inf infrastructure of a label and a little distance from my fans, I didn't get to interact with them as much. And now I'm like just communicating so much with people via email and via Facebook. And people are just like wanting to write these like long letters to me about how the music has affected them and I, I just missed that so much the last cycle and yeah. so that's been like really really special well, earlier you had mentioned the video for boohoo yes. taken from the new album i gotta yes. say your dancing is just on point oh in my that god video. <laughs> yeah it was like totally off the cuff but i think it worked out yeah how was it filming and just putting that whole thing together that was fun. crazy actually it was really cuckoo the director was very much a disciplinarian um she had a lot of ideas about how she wanted to do it and she worked me very hard from like mm, i think maybe 8 p.m until 8 in the morning oh wow twice long night <laughs> twice she crazy <laughs> love her but she's crazy yeah um so yeah no that was that was actually the the it's cool because the video comes off as like really mellow and chill and like just like kind of just exploratory yeah. but it was actually a lot of like grind you know what yeah, i mean a lot of, a lot of grind and it was it. cold <laughs> and I was wearing, like, no shirt. That was, like, a see-through shirt. Anyways. No, it's just because there's so much cool dancing going on in that video. I have to ask. Favorite dance move. What is it? You know, I have to say, it's got to be the Dougie. Is it? I just love that stuff so much <laughs> and it's so like close to my heart because of like where it's from and at the time it was just so tight, you know? I think there's been like, you know, other like things that have like gone off of that in different directions and are also tight, but the Dougie, so cool. You want to give us a little taste? No. <laughs> I can't even compare to those fools who actually do that right. Yeah. But, but you know, YouTube it. You'll see YouTube it. YouTube it and you'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the genre of true school because this is your Facebook genre and I have never heard it before. What exactly is that? So true school is a genre that refers to like almost like it's, it's a combination of ideas. It's like true heads and old school. So it's like refers to people who are like educated in like sort of music history, meaning like that they they draw from things that happened in the past, like, you know, whether anything from like Prince to something underground to even like doo-wop, whatever. Um, so that's kind of old school stuff. But then true school means that you're like not just copying that, you're like taking it and making it something your own and you really feel it. It's almost just like authentic like real adaptation of some older styles when did you first come across that and think like hey no, that I, is me. I didn't I, I just I just made it up one day really yeah it was just some like <laughs> it was just like some stupid thing that I come up with I mean you know I also came up with a term for my last album called AOR and B which was like AOR was like album oriented rock music that was popular with like it was like Prague you know like yes was like an album oriented band Led Zeppelin and then R&B is you know R&B and so I was like thinking my last record was kind of AOR and B and so I just coined this term for that so it's just like I just come up with these terms sometimes to try to describe what I'm, I'm doing because I find that genre classifications are really hard for me to like go with with my music. you're not really in a specific genre. I'm not and 
Sometimes I wish I was because I feel like it would make it easier to explain. Like we're, this conversation we're having is like really long right now. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, then, you know, you, it's cool because you can come up with these like new Absolutely. terminologies. So, yeah, true school is kind of long winded, but it just means like being true to your roots, I guess. Do you think per the next few records, you're going to come up with a genre for each one? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I like oh, that. Oh, definitely. Well, just wait. <laughs> it's coming. Well, before the camera started rolling, we're actually talking a little bit about Los Angeles, where you're based. Mm -hmm. What's the perfect day off in L.A. like? Oh my god, there's so many good days off in LA. I have a lot of days off in LA. I mean, nobody in LA really works that much. You kind of like, everybody's like an artist or like doing some freelance stuff. So there's a lot of like things that you can do there. And it's mostly outdoorsy kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, one of my favorite things to do in LA is to um, go to Topanga Canyon where they have these like beautiful hikes in the Santa Monica Mountains. And I'll go there and then there's these like, just like really cutty spots in the mountains where you can eat like delicious like home cooked food and like take a walk around it's very romantic and I go there with my husband a lot like when on our days off I mean not a lot because we don't have that many days off but like you know we try to go there when we have like a special like few hours to to spend that sounds adorable it's very cute <laughs> uh. well, I came across that we have a mutual love for somebody that person being Ariel Pink yes a good I friend of mine absolutely love Ariel Pink oh. when you first came across his music what exactly kind of made you just want to indulge fully into it um Actually, when I first came across his music, I was totally confused. Um, I remember um, Cole played it for me in his kitchen at his parents' house. I remember exactly where I was when this happened because it was a very formative moment. Um, he put on the song Among Dreams off of Doldrums, and he's like, I really think you'll like this. And I listened to it, and I was like, what is this? What's going on? This is so crazy. I was like, this is weird. I don't know. I don't know. And I became incredibly obsessed. I, I find that when I have that reaction that I don't understand something is when I fall really hard. Because you music. feel like you need to understand it, right? Yeah, it's just something new. It's something that you've never really experienced, you know? Um, is that what, what the question was? I forgot. <laughs> I just sort of like went into that memory and like then lost track no, of everything. I'm glad you shared that memory. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I've always been a huge fan of his music and I still am. And um, my husband and I sort of, we were very inspired to move to LA because we felt like there was good stuff going on because of Ariel. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, let's wrap things up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans? We're going to be viewing our interview. Thank you so much for getting cool, liquid cool with me. And I hope to see you at whatever stop I'm at. And I just, I love you so much. Thank you for always being there for me. Yes. Yes. And, I and say, thank you. I was going to say thank you so much, Ramona. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. High Shake five, hands. handshake. 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 Or hug. Hug. Let's do a hug. Let's do I feel hug. like this is, okay. this is hug worthy. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> Yay. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicvlogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. Yes. Like me. See you next time. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>